Start for a close look at that game with Cyanide. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe. We're not ready to lose you yet, buddy. Uh, congratulations to Cyanide on that win. First off, did it give any extra anxiety to you going into this game, knowing that it's been Gambit in the past that has stopped these winning streaks time and time again? Um, yeah, we were a bit like joking about it, but we, we don't really believe in that kind of stuff. So we were just like, yeah, yeah just win the game. <laughs> yeah, and you did uh, talk me through the Maokai pickup. A lot of changes coming in for him in 4.11. What was it in those changes that made you like him again? Well, I, I didn't honestly play him that much yet. Like, I, I was only playing him in solo queue. I didn't play him in pre-made, but I didn't pick it because I felt really arrogant or something. I just picked it because I think it was really good with our comp. So I was just like, let's just try it. And they, they had a Ramus as well. So I was like, tank, jungle battle, like old school. But yeah, I think the hero is pretty, like, better now because of the, uh, you don't have that much trouble jungling anymore. So it's pretty good if you get to like team fights equal. Well, I want to ask a little bit more about the Ramus pick. Uh, Diamond in particular has actually pulled out two new junglers against you guys. He played Skarna all the way back in Super Week, played Ramus today. Play, we're seeing t uh, junglers playing Rengar, and we're seeing Riven as well. So let's ignore Leeson, Elise, and Evelyn. What's your opinion on the rest of the junglers? Are they up to scratch? And why are we seeing them more this week and sort of, you know, this last sort of 10 days than prior? Um, maybe it's because there are some more jungler bands or people want to try out some new stuff with the new items. But I still think like Elise, Eve, and Leeson is like tier one, and everything else is like tier two. Does that say something about you guys and your picks that you're comfortable now picking a Maokai in a matchup like this? Did that say something about the comfort level of Fnatic in general? Um, yeah, I think we were pretty confident heading into this match. So, yeah, uh, we are not afraid to try a new stuff even if it's uh, like a serious game. Well, let's talk a little bit about this winning streak. 8-0. Uh, it looks like you guys are getting very well prepared for playoffs. Is there something different in the Fnatic house in terms of preparation or build-up in these last few weeks that has allowed you to pick up these wins that you were not doing at the beginning of the split? Uh, I think uh, Alvar is, RNA is really helping us to prepare for all the games. Like we are really trying hard to prepare for the games and know our opponents better. So I, I think that partly contributes to the fact that we are not just like randomly losing sometimes. Uh, we are being pretty solid just because I think we are a bit better than most teams now. We, we will see how it goes to playoffs. Maybe things will change. Yeah, you say you look ahead to play us, and obviously it's Alliance that's in that top spot, and maybe we'll be the team that you'll have to beat. If you had to pick one thing that you think that Alliance is better at than you guys right now and that you might have to work on, what is that? Um, it might be like their late game rotations. At least in the past, we got some trouble with them if we didn't win early too hard. But I, I think we can like beat them anyway. <laughs> you can beat them anyway. Well, you did beat Gamut here. Congratulations. All right, now let's check in with the duo of Joe Fischio for a look at the standings.